Well, good um, good morning, everybody. Um, thank you, Simon, for the introduction. And can I congratulate and thank uh, the Burma Democracy uh, Support uh, Network for bringing together so many groups for this very important cause. And there's been a few remarks this morning about freedom and freedoms that we enjoy here in Australia, freedoms that we quite rightly and thankfully take for granted. Freedoms of thought, expression, worship, uh, assembly, um, freedoms to conduct our lives in peace. And these freedoms are not freedoms to be granted or taken away by military regimes or anyone. These freedoms are God-given and they belong to every man, woman and child. The Australian government and myself personally uh, condemn in the strongest possible terms the actions of the military regime in Myanmar. It is utterly unacceptable. Firstly, to have reversed so much of the good work in moving towards democracy, but now uh, undertaking murders, violence, arbitrary arrests, um, so many insufferable actions and activities, and we absolutely condemn them in the strongest possible terms. We call on the military regime to immediately release all arbitrarily detained citizens, including Aung San Suu Kyi, Win Mint, and every other leading figure in Myanmar. Arbitrary detention is unacceptable anywhere. The Australian government uh, condemns the military regime for uh, these activities and these actions. And I can assure you and everybody here today and everybody watching, uh, the Australian government has suspended a range of actions and activities that were previously underway with Myanmar, suspended them in light of the actions of the military regime. We are also looking very closely and considering a range of other sanctions that can be taken, particularly against individuals who are to blame for what is occurring right now in Myanmar. Uh, the difficulty with sanctions is we don't want to cease supporting with aid uh, the citizens of Myanmar, Myanmar who need it most. And one thing we have done is we are ensuring that all aid that Australia is providing is being provided to non-government organisations or entities that cannot be impacted by the military regime because it's important that that aid finds its way to the citizens of Myanmar and nowhere else. Can I say at a personal level I have so much sympathy for everybody here today, all of our Burmese community locally, indeed throughout Australia because I know even though Australia is your home and you love Australia that your love and your loyalty for your home country will never go away and when actions and activities such as these occur in your home country uh, that they hurt you deeply and indeed they scar your community here locally. So can I assure you that uh, from the federal government's perspective we're working very closely with a number of partners in the region, quite large partners, ASEAN and others, to work on how we can cease the immediate violence which is being inflicted upon innocent men, women and children uh, in Myanmar, but at a broader level, ensuring that the actions and activities we take now not only don't jeopardise the pathway, the inevitable pathway to democracy. And I say to the military regime, the pathway to democracy is inevitable because, as I said at the beginning, those freedoms that we all understand and we all speak about, they are God-given and they, are, they yearn. 
every man and woman in Myanmar will yearn for those freedoms and in that sense this struggle for democracy will never end and I can assure uh, everybody here today the entire Australian Burmese community that in that movement towards democracy and everything we need to do along the way to make that happen Australia will support the people of Myanmar and uh, at a local level and at a personal level you'll always have my support and I know you'll always have the support of the Honourable David Hodgett uh, who will speak after me who understand uh, just how much of a wonder wonderful community we have here and how wonderful Myanmar can truly be if the citizens of that country are given the opportunity the freedoms and the rights that they deserve that are God given and I promise you we will continue to stand shoulder to shoulder with you with your family members at home because the struggle for democracy can never end and I can assure you the military regime in Myanmar it will never end and it's got a lot of support around the whole world starting here in Australia thank you very much